Kovan is a story of a woman who is trying to rescue her sons during the Serbian army occupation of Srebrenica. I live in Bosnia and um, genocide in Srebrenica is uh, something that, um, you know, is big trauma for all Bosnians. Uh, so this is something that I read a lot about, that I met a lot of people. Um, every day I hear stories of uh, mothers who are still searching for their sons, for their husbands. And in one moment, I just thought I have to do uh, something about it. I was not sure what, but uh, this idea was in me for years. And uh, finally, five years ago, I decided to make a, a fiction feature film. A lot of people told me that um, even people who were in Srebrenica and who seen all these 8,000 um, uh, graves, which is very heartbreaking when you are there, even those people told me that only after watching the film, they realized I mentioned of what happened. I think that's a power of films that they can put us in the situation that we feel what people felt at that moment. I'm totally aware that I um, was able to recreate maybe 0.01% of what people felt at that moment. But for us who didn't go through it, I think even this little percent is a lot. We do need to share our um, experience. We need to know what happened in Europe um, because I think what, what, what the, the state of Europe now is not, uh, not the best shape and we should know what, what, what is going on and not treat films as um, only entertainment. I think that's a power of uh, European films because they, they do point at subjects which are hurting and, and not always pleasing. We had a situation where we had army coming in and yelling at people where um, two women had nervous breakdown after seeing soldiers and we were really worried about them, what, what's going on. They told us they were kids when they were taken in concentration camps and this they know this was an actor who, who came in on, on the set, but they uh, were triggered by his uniform and, and weapon and, and yelling. Uh, it took them back to those days and they really had difficult, difficult time. On the other hand, I felt, okay, maybe these people will not show up next day because they are, you know, it's such a traumatic experience for them. But actually everybody came back because they felt it's very important to tell this story. You know, it's not known and their suffering is not recognized. So it, they, they felt it, you know, that it's, it's their film. We had more than 11 languages on the set. Of course, we were all using uh, our broken English, but we were able perfectly to, com to communicate because, you know, the, the, the language of images and films are overcoming all obstacles of, um, of this language. But really, there were so many nations and so many languages that it was, it was really great experience. I was watching um, a lot of uh, European films and I was really uh, very proud to be part of European um, cinema world because it is a world which is original, uh, very free, um, doesn't have to please the audience, doesn't have to please box office. Um, and it's uh, something which is very powerful, truthful, um, incredible. Mm -hmm.